what's up my friend this is Matthew Hamill with local contractor blueprint and today's video is all about how to get residential construction leads now for many of the contractors that I've talked to most of them get their leads by hanging out in hardware stores and things like that and or referrals doing small jobs on Craigslist some people may even do Yelp uh, which is pretty cool nowadays but the methods that we're gonna go over today are a little bit different than just hanging out on Yelp and things like that it's really about giving as much value as you possibly can. So when we first started out, we're in the niche of kitchen remodels, right? We run a multiple six-figure kitchen remodel company here in Southern California, and we're actually just starting to branch out across the country because we're getting the leads from other states. So it's been a very interesting trip the last year and a half. One of the things you can do besides hanging out on Yelp and, and being in front of people looking for a painter or a general contractor is for you as a contractor to narrow in on your niche and really figure out who your target audience is. And once you have that in mind, then you can start thinking about the questions that they're asking in their head. And you can kind of meet them there before they even start looking for a contractor for specifically. They want to do a kitchen remodel, right? Um, they start doing information on different types of cabinet companies. Well, our website and our blog specifically uh, answers a lot of questions about kitchen cabinets and we get a lot of um, traffic from those queries on Google. Uh, one of the other things we get a lot of traffic for is quartz countertop. We really don't like granite and it's just a style thing for us and I know we're leaving a ton of money on the table, whatever, but we've narrowed down our niche um, to be, you know, one of the things we look for in, in clients is people that want more contemporary, more modern kitchens and quartz countertops fit into that category very, very well. So we get a lot of traffic. Actually, I think our quartz countertop articles bring in the most traffic to our website and all we're doing is educating people on the difference between quartz and granite um, the different types of quartz, quartz manufacturers, fabrication, yada 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 we're just giving as much value as we possibly can um, so that our, our traffic and our visitors will begin to know, like, and trust us and once they're there um, then they'll turn into a lead and this is perfect if you're looking f to generate residential leads this is all we generate is residential leads for us all of our clients I think uh, let's see last year we did a little over 150 kitchens last year and I think uh, we had two of them that were commercial projects um, other than that everything else has been residential and it's I think it's really because of just the value that we give, you know. Homeowners have a ton of questions. Most contractors aren't going to have too many questions because they have other contractor buddies that they can talk to. Homeowners have nobody and they don't want to get burned. Um, contractors have a bad reputation of ripping people off. So they're going to start doing their homework before they get into bed with anybody. Um, and that's really what we try to do is just be their fiduciary if you will it's a pretty big term that's used in the stock market but be the person that is actually looking out for their best interest and really trying to get them the best deal possible now do we make money heck yeah I'm not in business to break even I'm in business to make profit however there are ways that you can educate your clients and help them save money on any of their projects and still get the deal and still make a profit from it and what's going to happen is they're going to become a raving fan and the beautiful thing about that is now your referrals start coming in non-stop so not only do you have residential construction leads coming in from your website you now have residential construction leads coming from your referrals so and that's that's pretty much how we've built our business and the second thing that you really want to keep in mind when dealing with residential construction leads is you want to use the process of consultative sales. Now, when they've started on the website, you know, for us, they've already asked a question in Google and we've helped answer that question. And when they reach out to us or they call us uh, or they shoot us an email, um, now it's time to ask them more questions and find out what they want and help them get what they want. Most clients are ready to be sold. Uh, for us, if they're reaching out to us, they have a credit card in hand and they're ready to buy. The only thing that, that's stopping them from buying is not knowing what to do next, not knowing what to buy, not knowing what, what, uh, you know, what the process is going to be and things like that. And that's where we come in and kind of treat them like a project manager. But consultative sales is, is simply uh, asking questions. And that's all it is. And instead of trying to force feed your knowledge down your 
prospective clients throughout um, really take your knowledge and put it into the form of questions because questions are powerful and in sales because you're an independent contractor you're in sales this is what you do this is what I do every single day so you ask these questions take the knowledge ask these questions get the answers and really listen to what your prospects are saying to you because what you can do is you can take the answers that they give you and ask more questions and then you'll also be able to formulate a custom sales presentation for them that's going to resonate with them they're, when you're asking them questions they're telling you exactly how to sell them and I tell you my friend selling using consultative sales is the easiest thing you can freaking do besides walking to the bank and depositing a check I mean it's that easy now the third thing that you have to have is a lead generation machine that's what you need you need a website and that's some crummy website you need a nice looking website um, you can build one on WordPress WordPress is a free software it'll install on your domain uh, it's free you can get somebody to do it on Fiverr for five bucks um, if you want something that's custom built I still recommend using WordPress just hire a designer to build on top of your WordPress page uh, you can get somebody on Elance or Odesk for 50 to you know a couple hundred bucks just depends on how complex you want to go but you need a website that not only one provides tons and tons of value for your clients but you also need a, a lead capture form or mechanism to start giving people the opportunity to reach out to you if they want to take things a bit further because you've already started the relationship by helping answer some of their questions on your website and then when they're ready and they want to raise their hand and say hey I'm ready to go I have a credit card I'm ready to swipe it I'm ready to get this deal done I'm ready to start this project you want to give them the opportunity to do that um, a phone number is great if you have a phone number I use Google Voice um, it's free and it goes it's connected to my Gmail account so their voicemails are transcribed and it goes to my phone and it goes to uh, my dad's phone and so we share the leads we always know what's going on and things like that so it's pretty cool but I use that phone number the other reason I use that phone number is for spam there's software out there that will scrape the internet for phone numbers and emails um, I would never leave my email on a website because I don't want the spam and the same with leaving my real phone number I, I don't want the calls the second thing you can do is you can set up an autoresponder um, you can get one from Aweber and it's like 20 bucks a month I'll put a link in the description below um, but what an autoresponder does is it allows your prospects to enter their name email or name email and phone number into a form and then it goes onto your mailing list and in the blog that uh, is attached to this video uh, I actually show you a sample of my automated email response when somebody opts in and the magic of that automated email is that the sales process begins without me having to do anything I'll wake up in the morning somebody will be a lead they'll opt into my list at like 1 a.m. and then I'll get a response email to my automated response at like two o'clock saying whoa thanks for the quick response man you're up late um, <laughs> you know it's pretty stinking funny but I make the email look really really natural and I make it look like I took the time to actually respond to them um, and you'll see uh, one of the key things is, is asking how we can help in the email you see it in the photo but then the other thing that really makes it look like I took the time to respond is that I put into my automated message sent from my iPhone um, when I added that, the response rate went up like 100%. I wasn't getting any emails back, really. I mean, it was I was getting nothing. Um, but when I added that, it gave it that authenticity that I needed to start getting responses back. And the beautiful thing is now I have everything that they're looking for, everything that they want in their kitchen remodel. I have everything documented because the moment you, whether you do it over the phone or in an email, um, the moment you ask somebody how can we help you how can I help you how can I serve you what can I do for you when you come from that place of intently wanting to serve your prospects and you ask them and you shut up and you listen they will spill their guts to you it's magical and when you do it via email you now have it documented and you can keep track of everything that they said and now you can take your time on putting together that customized sales presentation so I hope this video gave you some value I know there's so much that can be talked about in regards to uh, you know generating leads for residential contractors um, but 
you know what this is uh, all the time I have for today I've got to run off to some clients right now it's early early in the morning so I've got to take off but um, yeah if you have any questions visit the website below um, if also if you're watching this on YouTube please subscribe to this video and uh, if you have any questions uh, or want to sign up for a free coaching session uh, just visit the website localcontractorblueprint.com and hit us up and until next time this is Matthew Hamill with local contractor blueprint and I hope you go out there and crush it today